that much. I haven't like even fully read through like all the strategies that are out there. But for time purposes, like getting through the passages, like they're not long, but I mean with the time that you have and then the amount of um, questions, like I'm not sure what's like the best way to I guess crunch it and like focus on the right material, like the right sections of the reading passages. Typically in a reading comp passage, there will be one point somewhere in the passage where they articulate the main idea, the primary purpose, the author's opinion. And it could be at the beginning, the middle, the end, scattered throughout. You don't really know where it's going to be. And so as an exercise, one thing you could do is simply go through a bunch of passages and simply aim to walk away with the main idea, not getting bogged down in the details. But after you read a passage, could you summarize the main idea in one sentence? Because there aren't always going to be indicators. People talk about keywords and things like that. And sometimes there are keywords, sometimes there aren't. A lot of the time there is not going to be. It's not that easy, unfortunately. So it requires, again, practice. Practice distilling the main idea. And then you could check it against their articulation of the main idea in the related question. Because as you know, there typically is going to be a question about the main idea. So you could see how they frame it too. My last question has to do with personal statements. Sure. Um, I haven't really started mine. I've kind of just been thinking of like the foundation and like the direction I want to go and like what aspect of my life I want to like talk about and how it ties in with law school. Um, I guess just some tips on like where to like start like constructing it and like what to like make sure to have inside my personal statement. Sure. So let me ask you, why do you want to go to law school and what prior experience do you have with the law, if any? Um, um, I have a really big passion for children, children and family, so advocacy. Um, with the community that, community that I live in, I work very closely with children. I've worked very closely with children and family. I've done a miracle work, and I've been involved with like MOGA Head Start, which they have like everywhere. So um, that particularly, and I think it's just very important to have um, good family dynamics and structure in people's lives. So that's kind of my drive for law school. And I just want to have that, that foot in the door. Because I know you can do stuff like social work and other aspects of like teaching children and stuff. But I really want to help keep that bond between families and children together if at all possible. So I think law is kind of the direction I want to go with, go to with that. And I've always said I wanted to be a lawyer. I, I don't know why exactly, like as a kid, wanting to do that, but my drive for that is kind of just advocating for children and family. That's incredible. And I personally find that very inspiring. So kudos to you on that. I, I also want to ask you more specifically then, what is one example of an experience you had with a child that made you say, this is why I want to be a lawyer? Um, I would have to say my first experience doing AmeriCorps we had children from ages zero to three in the classroom and I was working as a center assistant and I was working as like the cook. So I was cooking their lunch and their breakfast and their snack. And um, just seeing the parent and child interaction, it's a lot of young, um, young parents, almost my age, like 21, 22. And um, just seeing them like kind of not knowing what to do with their child um, and issues like poverty, not having enough money, um, trying to find a way. And I just, I just feel like children, all children deserve a chance to be, to have education, to have a chance to have a, a mom or a dad in their life, um, to be loved. And I just see that and it just it breaks my heart. And um, just playing with those kids, they enjoy being there. Sometimes they don't want to leave and go back home because they don't have much of a toy but a book or a rag doll. And just them coming to the center and being there, um, it just really, it touches me. And I just like for them to have, be able to have that at home and providing those resources to those families in my community. Um, it means a lot, and I'm glad that we have that in stores, so. Excellent, so that's your topic right there. The only thing I would suggest is I would push you to go even deeper and even more specific. What is the one experience you had with one child? You talked about more specifically working with children, but I didn't hear one child, a little boy, a little girl, what's their name? What was the nature of your interaction with them like? What were their struggles? How could you advocate for them as an attorney? Okay. So I want you to really bring us to that moment in time, but you've got a good start here. I would just say, start free riding on that and then take it from there. Okay. Thank you so much.
much for your time. My, my pleasure, Amina, of course. Before we sign off, what would you say is the biggest insight you got from our call today? Um, just kind of where to start, even though I already have an idea of where I kind of need to start with studying the LSAT, preparing a personal statement, and understanding questions, just kind of knowing, like, almost confirmation. Like, I kind of had an idea of, like, answers that would come up just from reading your, your post and everything, but just kind of getting that confirmation, like, okay, you're on the right path, you're doing the right steps, and you're studying the right material. Fantastic. Well, keep in touch. Let me know if you need anything as you move forward, and I'll see you in class. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.